Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're going to be watching Amber Lynn do some collective hauls over the years. We have a haul from the Destiny era, a haul from the early Beck era, and a haul from right before she and Beck broke up. So I thought it might be fun to see if they are different in any way. So if you guys are ready, let's go. First up, a haul from the Destiny era. Hello everyone. Okay, so I have a haul for you guys and I just want to say a disclaimer. I was going to promise myself not to say this anymore because people hate when I say this, but I am looking a hot mess. And <laughs> I promised myself in 2017 I would only film a video if I felt like I looked my best per se. Like I had my makeup done and my hair done. Oh wow, that did not last long. And today was not supposed to be a filming day at all. But I have this pile of stuff that I wanted to haul for you guys. It's like a collective haul. And I really wanted to put it away because I'm trying to clean up the house a little bit. And it's just like in my way. And plus, I really needed to just film this. So that's why like I look like a hot mess. This is like my day off, if you will. So I am going to apologize for that. I know a lot of people get annoyed with it. But I don't have my makeup done. I don't have my hair done how I like it. I am just scruffing around in the sweater. Like, whatever. Girl, it's fine. We're used to it but I'm super excited for this haul um I finally got myself a Michael Kors purse as you guys know I have been waiting and waiting to find the perfect one and I officially did so this is what it looks like uh this purse was originally $325 but it was on sale for only $179 wow do you guys remember when Amberlynn actually spent money on name brand purses I'm pretty sure now she just buys knockoffs from Amazon already took out the bagging from the inside um this is the little proof proof because you know how people are like they're like this ain't real actually it was 428 i'm sorry and i got it for 179 so 428 um you always need your proof proof she's real quick to show proof on things like designer purses but other things actual important things we're just expected to take her word for it but yeah, this is what the inside looks like. It's really big and I really, really needed a bigger purse. And the fact that it was on sale, just coincidentally enough, I was like, okay, that's like perfect. Is she saying that she would have spent full price for that purse? Like over $400? Girl, that's insane. I mean, it's cute, but it ain't that cute. But yeah, this is like the little bag it comes with. And yeah. Um, the next thing I got was I've never owned anything coach ever in my life and I really needed a new purse so I got a coach purse okay I think she means wallet I think that was just a slip of the tongue but also if you guys saw one of my previous videos it shows her shopping for this wallet and um destiny makes a pretty interesting comment about it that is me ripples and all I'm just going to let y'all come to your own conclusions about what she meant by that. This was originally $248, but I got it for $80. So, yeah. This is one of my favorite colors. It's like a milky pink. And the fuck is a milky pink? I've literally never heard someone use that phrase before. And I'm obsessed with this. Most coach stuff, this is what it looks like on the inside. Most, most coach stuff... I don't really care for I don't really like I don't like how it looks but this was more so my style and I thought these two things would look really cute together that's just me though I mean everyone likes different stuff girl stop lying you bought it because destiny picked it out that's the only reason um I also got this kitchen towel set I just thought it was super cute with a bunch of cats and their glasses like how could you not like that? Um, so I got those things from TJ Maxx. This is just from Amazon. It is a scarf. Oh my god, I totally forgot about her scarf era. We had the double poop bun era, the choker era, the fake eyelashes era, the fake nails era. Totally forgot about the scarf era. And um, it has purses on it, lipstick, shoes, bows. It's very like, just girly. A super girly scarf and I'm super excited to wear that um, from Bath and Body Works I got three candles a Jap Japanese cherry blossom that is the most like common smell in the world is it though 
Bath and Body Works Japanese cherry blossom is the most common smell in the world. Okay, I'll just take your word for it. But it's one of my favorite smells, like, ever. To me, it smells delicious. I also got a mahog mahogany apple. Um, and a Blue Ocean Waves. So all those are from Bath and Body Works. They all smell absolutely amazing. And the last place I went was Walmart. And I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, you shop at Walmart too much. See, I told you my hair's a mess. Like, what is this? Um, but okay. <laughs> this is fun for me. Everyone wants me to fill in my eyebrows. And I suggested, okay, I'm gonna film a video filling in my eyebrows. And I asked everyone to tell me what is the best eyebrow equipment and equipment <laughs> go ahead girl tell us what the best eyebrow equipment is and they said the elf eyebrow kit so i got that so i'll be making a video of me filling in my eyebrows i've never done it before i don't know how to do it so that's gonna be super funny i got this little it's a keychain type deal but I like to wear it on my purse. I had one for my Rebecca Minkoff purse. So I also obviously want one for the purse I just got. And I'm loving Pioneer Woman. I try to buy at least something of hers, I don't know, three times a month. <laughs> because I really do enjoy her stuff. So I just got two of her Pioneer Woman plates. I think her stuff is so cute. I don't know what it is, but... I got three journals. Now that's something that I know hasn't changed over the years. Definitely going to have more journals in the other halls. I'm calling it now. Walmart is stepping up their game. I really love to write. I really love to list. I really love to log. I am obsessed with just writing. This one says kind heart, fierce mind, brave spirit. Super adorable. Like this one, floral. I love floral anything. And this one says moments of genius. I thought that was super cute. If there was ever a product perfectly created for Amberlynn Reed, it would be that journal with the floral print where she's calling herself a genius. That is the most Amberlynn Reed product I've ever seen in my life. And then this one says, if you obey all the rules, you'll miss all of the fun. That is a Katherine Hepburn quote. Had another perfect Amberlynn Reed product. Although this one, I feel like, only applies to the rules of a diet. And I thought that was super cute as well. And the last things I got were necklaces. I just want to say last night, I went through every single one of my necklaces. And I got rid of easily, like, 50 necklaces. And I gave them to my friend Sharla. She took every single one. But um, I did get more necklaces. I feel like my style is changing. Um, right now you guys can't tell because I literally look like a lump on a log today, but, um, I'm really into just different things lately, I feel like. So I'm trying to, you know, evolve, I guess you could say, which reminds me a lot of people are like, Amberlynn, are you really going to do your hair? I am. I'm cutting it, coloring it. I'm just waiting to kind of stop being a fucking chicken shit. <laughs> Which apparently was quite a long period of time because she didn't get her hair cut and colored until after the breakup and after she had already moved in with Beck. But yeah, I got these necklaces. They're all the same. They look like this and then they have these little frillies at the end. I thought these were super cute and I got, let me show you them one at a time, I guess. Purple as well blue yeah that's blue and then this one they are all different colors i don't know i really like these but now that i'm looking at them i notice that this one which kind of upsets me but this type of stuff happens all the time when you bag necklaces as you can tell like the fringe on this side is really good and then this one's like really like some of them was taken out so i might have to go buy this again because I don't like that. That's going to annoy the crap out of me. But yeah, so that is my haul. Okay, so that was her collective haul during the Destiny era. Now we're going to jump ahead to a haul she did early on in the Beck era. Okay, so I just want to say this has nothing to do with my haul, but welcome to my Walmart haul. I am Walmart gal, but really the truth is 
I'm thinking about chopping off all my hair. Okay, well, there's a similarity. She talks in both halls about getting her hair cut. I have been wearing it in a ponytail every day for a while now because I think I'm over it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I really do want to cut it short. This has nothing to do with the haul. Let's just move on over this hair. So I went to Walmart today and I got a few things that I needed, maybe a few things that I just wanted, but let's do this thing. So the first thing I got is this king size, super soft pink. This is a beautiful pink. I love this type of pink blanket. <laughs> this was only about $30. So not bad for a king blanket that is super cozy and soft because there are really cheap blankets that are super tiny that are only like $15. So the fact that this was 30, I'm just like, really? That's actually not that bad. I'm super excited to use this in my winter days because winter's coming, it's getting cold. I already have two blankets on my bed that I use. Now I'm gonna have three. Oh well. Does anyone else not remember ever seeing this blanket? <laughs> like, I don't know. I remember some of her other blankets that she's used. I, I don't remember this one at all. So as most of you know, I am a wax warmer junkie. I love wax warmers because who doesn't like things to smell good? That's just me. And the wax melts that they make for wax warmers smell amazing. So I might have sort of maybe possibly got three new wax warmers and this is the first one. It is a glowing town, super seasonal for this season. Yes, Amberlynn. Super seasonal for the season. What a description. I just thought it was super cute. So when it is turned on, it'll look like this, even though it looks super cute like this as well. I also got this gold one, which could actually go all year round because I do like gold stuff. and I do have some gold accents in my living room, so... Yes, I love this one so much. I mean, I do love them all or else I wouldn't have bought them. This one I feel like is the cutest one and I wish I could use this all year round. I don't know, maybe I can get away with it. But look how freaking stinking cute this is. Yeah, yeah, super cute. Did anyone else notice that lamp in the background still has the plastic on the shade? Pretty sure that's a fire hazard. Gold, white with this really cute berry wreath around it. Like, this, it, things just don't get cuter than this. If you guys are wondering, at Walmart, these are $15 each. I figured, I do watch a lot of hauls where people say the prices and things. So I'm thinking about, if I can remember, in future hauls, I'm just gonna start saying prices of the things that I get in case you guys are also interested in getting them as well. I got a new pair of flats they are black with gold dots i think super super cute and these were only five something yes 587 okay those are definitely the wrong shoes for her pun intended those are gonna do nothing for her offer her no support they're cheap for a reason girl you need something that's gonna support your ankles better that's probably how you ended up with a dangling one I got this red table cover, which was only, I think, like 98 cents. This is for a future video, I'm not giving away anything, but I needed one of these. This as well is for a future video. It is Gorilla Glue, and this was freaking $5 for this tiny little bit of glue, but I'm sure this will last me for freaking ever. So I got a couple of these. These were all $4 each, and they are to wear for some upcoming videos because let's just be in the Christmas spirit, please. Why freaking not? There is so many of them. <laughs> the view, hello. One thing I know about Amberlynn Reed is she loves a novelty accessory. She's gonna make a great Nana someday. Um, this one's my favorite. I only got three, but it has bells and it's brown and it has glitter. Like, how could you not like this? Oh my gosh. But yes, those are also for future videos to be in the Christmas spirit. Got some want gift cards, so let's low key hide that. If you guys are gift shopping for people for Christmas and you don't know what to get them and you want to get them a gift card, Walmart has so many different gift cards there. So 
I got a movie, Just Like Heaven, with Reese Witherspoon and Mark Ruffalo. I actually really, really love this movie. Haven't seen it in a really long time. I'm trying to make my movie collection a bit bigger. Yeah, that's exactly what you need. More DVDs. It seems like every time I buy a movie, there is someone in the comments that asks, what's the point of buying movies? Like, you can watch these all online for free. Well, sometimes I'm a bit old school. Wait, I thought she said in the past that they had bad internet, like they couldn't stream movies, and that's why they watch DVDs. Also, if the reason you're saying now is because you're a bit old school, is it really worth it to spend the money and buy something that's just going to clutter up your room even more? And this was in the $5 bin. I also got another movie, which is, this is one of my favorites. Uh, the Blind Side with Sandra Bullock in it. It's I'm sorry, Sandra who? Sandra Bullock? It's amazing. If you have not seen this, you need to see this. This was also in the $5 bin. So I got me some chokers, which I feel like I went a while without buying any and then now I'm kind of like in the mood to buy a few more. I don't buy as much as I used to, but this one was $5. It is black with some gold studs. Okay, here's another similarity with the last haul. In both of them, she got necklaces. And I got these two, which were on sale for only $1.50, which is surprising because they're gorgeous. Just a gold one and then a leopard one. And this one is like fuzzy. I have nothing like that. It's so cute. I got this little dish for cat food and this dish, which is just the bigger size for water. I like to get my cats new bowls probably monthly. I don't know why. I'm very, very freaking weird. I wonder if she does that instead of washing them out because that seems pretty wasteful. Plus the one thing, the one cat food container that we have now, it's one of the ones that like continuously feeds them and the top of it broke and I just, I don't know, I don't like using that one anymore. So I just wanted to have them start anew. Last thing I got is just this really big, what do you want to call this, basket? I don't know. Becky picked it out, but um, we needed a new thing to hold our wax melts because we do have quite a few wax melts and the container we have is overflowing of wax melts. So... So instead of using up what you already have and not buying any more, your solution is just get a bigger basket. Amberlynn logic for you. I told her, hey, we need a, need a new container, so pick out one, and this is the one she picked out. Oh yeah, prices. Oh God, I don't remember how much these were. I think this one was about $10, and this one was maybe like seven. I remember this was eight something. I don't know. All I remember is I spent about $150 for everything, all of these items, which was definitely worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Okay, cool. So we're spending more money on wax warmer baskets than we're spending on shoes. That seems like a great idea. All right, now we're going to move forward to a collective haul that she did towards the end of the Beck era. Today we have a haul it is another collective haul from several different places hopefully i remember where some of this is from because i kind of might possibly forget a little bit so the first thing or two things i'm going to show you is either from kroger's or myers i can't remember so it's this cute little container that was a loud ding but yeah you can put anything in it like this could go in your kitchen and you could put cookies or it can go in your bathroom and you can put cotton swabs and then I also got a smaller one look how cute they are I'm actually going to be keeping them in my bedroom those are both really cute I think it's funny to see her go from loving all the pioneer woman stuff and that whole aesthetic to what she's into now like it's such a drastic change so next thing I got, these are from Myers, and I got these mainly for decoration. Obviously, I'm going to use them, but it's candles, and they're so cute. This one is Rosewood Fig. I love the feeling of this. It's kind of like velvety, and we got Forest Honey and Clary Sage. So I love the colors of these very much my aesthetic so 
Another similarity and a difference in the first one she bought candles, second one wax melts, this one she's buying candles again. It's almost like when she was living with Eric and Ricky, she didn't need to buy candles. Hmm, I wonder why that is. So next bag is a Walmart bag. Let's see. I got some hair scrunchies. As you guys know, I love me some hair scrunchies. I really, really love this pack mainly for this one and like this beautiful green love we've got some more hair scrunchies and this is the last pack of hair scrunchies that i got from walmart got some milani lipsticks i got quite a few and they look like this this one is in the color 120 fantasy 130 lingerie 160 voyeur 190 COVID, 210. Hang on, what was that last one? 190 COVID. Does she mean covet? Because otherwise I'm not sure what a COVID is. 210 nylon. Last but not least, 200 bitten. Then I got some NYX, this is everything, lip lovin' balm. And the nyx this is everything lip scrub which i definitely needed those these next four things are from meyer i got the book the sleepover by samantha king i got the stand by stephen king yeah that book is over 1100 pages long i'm gonna go out on a limb and say i don't think she ended up reading that at least not all of it when I got this, Becky said that this is a show and didn't, I didn't realize that it says now a CBS All Access limited series. I will not be watching it. I will be reading it. <sighs> this is very daunting and overwhelming. It's extremely thick. I got this super cute, adorable spring vibes of a wallet. I'm so excited. And I'm not that type of person that likes to keep their makeup like in a container or like have it set up or anything. I like to simply just have it all because I don't have that much makeup. I truly don't. Considering all of this is just the lip products that you have. Yeah, I'm going to call bullshit on that. I like to keep it all inside of like a little bag like this in case I'm staying the night somewhere Whatever it is, I could just bring it real quickly. The only things that I don't keep in here are my eyeshadow palettes or my lipsticks because I have so many. Literally just contradicted herself. But this is just like everything else. So I got this because I've actually been using a purse to keep all my makeup in. So I was like, you know what? I need to get me an actual makeup bag. All right, so this bag is from Walmart. I got this bedhead wave artist. It's to crimp your hair. So my hair does not curl um, at all. I've even had it try to be curled by a professional and it just doesn't curl. But I'm hoping now that I've cut some of my hair and it's a lot shorter, it's healthier, that I will be able to crimp my hair because I love the look of crimped hair so let's hope for the best i'm not sure having healthier hair is gonna cause it to all of a sudden be able to be curled or crimped i don't know i could be wrong on that but i don't think that's gonna make much of a difference so another walmart bag i got the undrowned by kr alexander book you guys i love to read i, I really do i got the scandal by nicola marsh I Am Still Alive by Kate Marshall. And I got some earrings. These. Walmart's earrings are super cheap. <laughs> because quantity over quality, right, Amber? Those. This reminds me of spring. And spring is coming. Spring. Spring of vibes. These are super cute. I mean, they're all cute or else I wouldn't have gotten them. These are literally only like $5 each. So pretty good price. Look how stunning. Oh my goodness. Only Amberlynn Reed would utter a phrase like, look how stunning these Walmart earrings are. This last bag is a bag from Target. I love this print. 
I have the wallet of this print. I have the backpack of this print. And now I have the big purse of this print. And it doesn't stop there. I got the medium purse of this print. Love it. I got another wallet that literally screamed spring. I love this color so much. What was it Destiny said about the coach wallet? Oh yeah, it was just like Amberlynn, ripples and all. This is giving me those vibes. I got some band-aids, some more band-aids. I got unstoppable wax melts in the Febreze Fresh. This is one of my favorites. I got the April Fresh wax melts. Okay, so she did get wax melts just like in the second haul. I got some of these quick dry Bic Gelosity pens. So I got some Milani Rose Water Prep and Refresh Hydrating Mist. So I am excited. I am excited to try that. I got some EOS lip balms in Watermelon Frosé. So I'm excited to try that as well. I feel like I say excited a lot, but it is what it is. I got some NYX Matte Bronzer. I've never used bronzer before, so we're gonna give it a go. I got some NYX Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh Mist. I got another wax melt. This is the Gain Smell. Oh, it smells so good. I've heard a lot about this foundation. It's the Fit Me Foundation. This is for normal to dry skin, and my skin is pretty dry. So I got the Dewy Smooth. Mm, I don't know if that's the right shade for you, girl. I feel like it should be a lot lighter, but maybe it's just the lighting. I got another book. I love Daniel Steele. This is called The Numbers Game. And last but not least, we got some lip balm. This is Shimmer Balm Lip Gloss with Vitamin E by Revolution. So pretty. So that is my whole haul. It is just a bunch of random stuff. I figured I would show you guys. I love watching haul videos, so figured I would film my own. I hope that you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Well, I am shocked, guys. She only had journals in the first haul. Super weird for Amberlynn Reed. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video with me. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. Also, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below.